even and odd numbers. Letter A, what is an even number? So when you when I think of even numbers, I automatically think there's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Anything that ends, so I would say anything that ends in zero, two, four, six, or eight. So whether that be 100, 1,248, as long as it ends in a zero, two, four, six, or eight, it will be an even number. Something else you could say, you could say it's anything that's a multiple of two. Um, or anything that goes like going along with all multiples of two. Also anything that can be evenly divided by two. So those are some examples. So let's just list a few examples of even numbers. So I already said like 100. I'll go 2,340, and anything that ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, I'll go with 6. Uh, 422, see, and 74. What's an odd number? So going with that, it's kind of the opposite of an even number. So an odd number is anything that ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. cannot be evenly divided by 2. And they're not multiples of 2. So basically just the opposite of what an even number is. So let's list some odd numbers. So 73. Um, let's try something in the hundreds. 429. Let's try 1,000. 4,000. 177, and let's do like 101. So there are some odd numbers. What happens when we add two even numbers? Do we always get an even number? Okay, so let's think of two even numbers and show whether or not we would get an even number. Let's try like maybe four plus two. So there's two even numbers. Do we always get an even number? So we got six. Let's try another one. Um, eight plus four. Twelve, that's an even number. Uh, Ten plus fourteen. Twenty-four, that's an even number. So all of these are seeming to check out. So. I'm going to say, yes, I think we do. Let's prove, we're going to prove it down here. Number one, why is the sum of two numbers even? Think of the problem 12 plus 14. Draw dots to represent each number. We're going to draw dots to represent 12 plus 14. Okay, there's 12 plus 14. Circle pairs of dots to determine if any of the dots are left over. Okay, so, so we're going to circle the pairs. So there's one, because remember, there are multiples of two, means that it'll be even. So we don't have one left over. If we had one left over, then it wouldn't be even, but we don't. So we already did B. Is this true every time two even numbers are added together? Why or why not? So when we are, when we have an even number, so whether this was 12, or 22 or whatever, it's always going to be in multiples of two. 
And same thing, if we add over here, anything that's an even number plus 14, that could be 24, it could be 144, but we're not going to have an extra dot left over as long as it is even. So we're always going to get an even number when we add two even numbers together. So I'm going to say 12 is equal to six sets of two dots. And 14 is equal to seven sets of two dots. So there are no dots left without a pair, or maybe you could say match. Therefore, there will never be any left over, and so you could say therefore. be any leftovers and the answer is always even. Number two, why is the sum of two odd numbers even? Think of the problem 11 plus 15. Draw dots to represent each number. Okay, so 11 plus 15. my 11 plus 15. So let's circle B, circle pairs of dots to determine if there are any dots left over. Okay, so there's one left over there. And there's one left over there, but we could circle these two and make them a pair. So now it's even. Because 11 plus 15 is equal to 26. So that is an even number. Is this true every time two odd numbers are added together? Why or why not? So I'm going to say that yes, this is true because we're always going to have, as long as we're just adding two odd numbers, if there were three, if we were adding three odd numbers, there would still be one left over. But since we're just adding two, these t extra two will always match to make that last final pair. So I'm going to say, yes, the two dots left over from each odd number go together and make a pair which makes the number or the sum an even number. Number three. Why is the sum of an even number and an odd number odd? Think of the problem 14 plus 11. Draw dots to represent each number. So I'm going to draw dots for 14 plus 11. Plus 11. Circle pairs of dots to determine if any of the dots are left over. So I'm circling the pairs. There's nothing left over in 14, but in 11, we do have one left over, this guy right here. So is this true every time an even number and an odd number are added together? Why or why not? So I'm going to say this is always going to be true because the even number, like whether it's 14 or 144, that's always going to be even and they're always going to have a match. 
And if we add to an odd number, this odd number is always going to have one left over. So an even number plus an odd number is always going to be equal to an odd number. So let's try and write that down a little bit. So yes, it is always true because the even number will always have a pair equal pairs and the odd number will always have one left over. Letter D. What if the first add end is odd and the second is even? Is the sum still odd? Why or why not? For example, if we had 11 plus 14, would the sum be odd? So it's just saying the last question we did 14 plus 11, and it was odd, right? If we did 11 plus 14, would it be different? Is that going to make it an even number? Well, no, that's something we learned about earlier in the year and back in fifth grade called the commutative property. So the commutative property says that we can add them in whatever order and we're still going to get the same answer. So let's say the commutative property says that we can change the order of an addition problem And that does not change the answer. You could also give an example and go into kind of what we talked about up here with C because for the same reasons it's still going to be odd. Okay, so let's sum it up here. So even, an even number, plus an even number. It's always going to be equal to an even number. An odd number plus an odd number is equal to an even number. And an even number plus an odd number is always equal to an odd number. Exploratory challenge exercises four through six. Number four, the product of two even numbers is even. Okay, so the product, now we're just doing the same thing, but we're seeing if it works for multiplication. So above we were doing addition. The product means the answer to two, to a multiplication problem. So product of two even numbers. Let's pick two even numbers. I'm gonna pick four times six. So four times six, let's make it into an addition problem. Four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four. So let's draw that out. Okay, so there's our four groups, uh, or our six groups of four. Now let's group them in pairs and see if we have anything left over, if it'll be an odd number. Okay, so there's nothing left over, which means that our answer, our product, is even. So we can say that, yes, the product of to even numbers is even. We can even say even times even equals even. 
Number five, the product of two odd numbers is odd. So let's try something like um, five times seven. Let's see, so two odd numbers. So that's equal to five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus, five plus one more. So let's draw it out. Okay, let's group them into pairs. So each one so far has is going to have one left over, and we're going to need to group those. So I'm going to group these two. They become a pair. Those two become a pair. These two become a pair. But, oh, we have this little guy out here who does not have a pair. So what we found is that odd times odd is equal to odd because there's always going to be one little guy who does not have a pair making meaning that it can't be even and six the product of an even number and an odd number is even so let's try like five times four so there we have an odd number and an even number which would be Five times five times five times five. Okay, time to group. These two can go together. And these two can go together. So we end up with an even number. There are no leftovers. So even times odd is equal to even. 